the cases of femicide we are seeing are worrying for the country. And it's, it's also true we have critical gaps, especially at the lower levels of our policing and security apparatus, both the National Intelligence Service, the National Police Service, and also NGAO. And th those are things that uh, we need to work on uh, to avoid situations like what we are seeing. Uh, the incident that happened in Kware is quite devastating, quite, quite um, uh, a grave breach of, of, of the security of our women. And, and it's something that I'm taking with all seriousness. Finally, what plans will I have if I am approved by this house to ensure that uh, we do not have loss of life when citizens exercise their right under Article 37? I will be finalizing for publication the guidelines under the Public Order Act, the one I explained earlier, not to take away the light, but to facilitate, to create an environment where it can be enjoyed, to create responsibility on those who are having protests. Because if you say you have a protest to parliament, for example, and the designated area for protest can only accommodate a thousand protesters, you cannot say, I want two million protesters outside parliament, because it's not feasible. So we'll have to give those guidelines uh, so that as Kenyans can enjoy these rights while respecting the rights of others uh, in, in accordance with the Constitution, I submit. Sharia?